Iron Talk is brought to you by Case IH. Our industry-leading SCR technology has powered over 35,000 pieces of equipment with over 17 million operating hours in North America alone. Case IH, proven power, proven efficiency, proven in the field. If you want to boost your high-yielding soybeans to new levels, it may be nitrogen you're running short on. How to apply nitrogen in soybeans late in the year is the subject of today's Iron Talk. First of all, why would you do it? Here are a few givens. Nodules in ideal soil and weather conditions can only produce up to 70% of your nitrogen needs. Organic matter can release about 20 pounds of nitrogen per percent. Fertilizer sources like MAP and DAP don't contain much nitrogen. Let's take this example. 70 bushel soybeans require the uptake of 305 pounds of nitrogen. Nodules can produce up to 210 pounds. If soil had 2% organic matter, that would give you another 40 pounds of nitrogen. If you applied 100 pounds of MAP to meet most of your phosphorus demand, you'd get about 10 more pounds of nitrogen, but you're still 45 pounds short. The ideal time to apply nitrogen is so availability comes in the R3 or first pod stage and later. Prior to R3, only about 10% of a soybean plant's nitrogen needs have been met. The challenge is the crop is big now. The answer is a high clearance sprayer or a high clearance spreader. On our farm this year, we're using some controlled release urea in strip trials through the spreader. We also plan to look at some liquid nitrogen with a nitrogen stabilizer through a high clearance sprayer. Once the nitrogen is spread, you need some rain or irrigation water to get it into the soil and up through the roots to feed that high protein soybean seed. There's some promising yield data out there. We'll see if this year it pays once again. That's all for today's Iron Talk and now back to the show. <laughs> 